To give you some background, I was in the national rowing team for nine years. I competed at three Olympic Games and six World Championships. At 10.30 on the 24th September 2000, I was sitting in a boat on the start line of the Olympic Games. Get three in a row. When people talk about sport or watch sport, very often the temptation is to think that it's all about getting it right on the day, doing the right thing on the day and getting the result. In a way, it's very similar to businesses. When you audit an organisation, it's not what happens on that day, it's what happens leading up to it. Looking, though, across the line, a phenomenal... I mean, we hadn't chosen to row with each other, we hadn't chosen each other as friends. There was only really one area where we, where we wanted the same thing, and that was in this race. 50 metres gone, and the British have really taken the bit between their teeth. We realised that if we continued to do what we had done for the previous however many years, we would continue to get the same result. The same, you know, do what you've always done and you'll get the same thing. And we were desperate to get a different result. They really don't waste anything at the front end of the stroke. So we could do the same thing, get the same result, or we could, we could just jack it in. We could just go, you know what, maybe we're just not good enough. Or we had a third choice. Third choice to do something different, something very, very different. To, to make a jump, take a jump, and start looking at things in a really, really different way. Bond between these guys. They really have risen to the occasion in this Olympic We had one very, very simple question. We were always asking ourselves and each other before we did any training session, before we, before we did pretty well anything. And that very simple question was, will it make the boat go faster? Two, there the boys there, let's go down the boat. Crap. Whether it be before we sat on the rowing machine for um, 70 minutes, will it make the boat go faster? Unfortunately, yes, so that's what we would do. That's good technique all the way through the race. Before going out to the pub, will it make the boat go faster? Unfortunately, no, so we didn't. And Croatia have taken it off, but Great Britain, gosh, they look strong. Today is going to be a good day because I am going to make it a good day. No one else had helped us along the way. It was only happening because we were making it happen. And if ever it was true, it's going to be on this test day for us. We're coming through 500 metres, and look at that. Did any of you pick up on what the commentators were saying about us? About our chances, our hopes? I'm not sure they can still win. I, they need more. I... They hadn't really looked at what we were doing for the two years leading up to that race. They were judging us on the seven years of previous results. How many of you remember watching the uh, 1980 Olympic Games? Seb Coe, Daley Thompson, Alan Wells, Duncan Goodhue. Quite a few of you. I remember watching that as an eight-year-old going, wouldn't that be amazing to do? But also thinking, you know, that only happens to other people. There's no way I can do that. 250 metres remaining, and the boys are doing so well. We weren't in the situation of having best people like you are. What was a firm like yours capable of? But we're going to do it! We're going to hold on! Just going through loads and loads of learns and wins and, you know, increasing and increasing. We managed, to, we managed to do something different. Go, boys! Here come the Australians! And as we, as we got given these, the feeling was... <laughs> Does anyone want to have a look? Goal for Great Britain! Olympic champion! As you look at it, think about how good will it feel to achieve your goals, whatever your goals are. As you hold it in your hand, think about you know, doing all these jumps. How good will it feel when you've got your equivalent in your hand? Because that's, that's what drove us forward. Knowing how bitter it was going to taste if we weren't willing to change, if we weren't willing to make that jump. And I tell you what, making the jump, every single second of the training was worthwhile. I've really enjoyed the few days. I hope you have. Thank you very much for listening to me. Thank you very much.